We'll come to data output stream. What is data output stream? It's nothing but a stream built on your input and output streams. For instance, uh, let me talk to you about uh, this particular thing. Let's let's go back. Let's look at what is data output stream. Where this class comes in. So when you take a look at this output stream, you're going to have this data output stream, right? Output stream is for reading in raw data. So there you are having data output stream. So what data output stream does is, likewise you have an input stream also. What is this input stream? Say here you have this input stream for reading in bytes. So again you have a data input stream. What is the use of data input stream and output stream is, you can read primitive data from your stream. Primitive data is coming in as bytes. So when you want to read boolean or when you want to read string or read flow, you can use data input stream. What it uses is it uses an input stream as its argument. So it reads in bytes and this one converts that bytes to flow, character, string or integer. It's like a class using your input stream. That's it. Likewise, uh, you know, when you're writing data out to the file, you can write it as a character, a string, a boolean uh, data type. So all primitive data types can be written to your file. So for that, you will use data input stream and data output stream. I will just go and show you how to write uh, you know, some characters to the file, primitive data types to a file. We'll take a simple example. When you talk about data input stream, it needs an raw data input stream. So you create a in file input stream and then you pass some object to it and use it in your data input stream. Likewise, when you have a data output stream, you just create a file output stream and use it as a constructor uh, you know, argument. Let's go and perform this code. You get OBJ here. Now you have to create a class of data output stream. Data output stream. Let's go and check data output stream here. Data output stream D out is equal to new data output stream. And what it uses? It uses a file output stream F out. If I want to write a Boolean value out to my file, how will I write that? D out dot, there's a function write boolean. So you see here, write boolean. And I can just write true or false. The primitive data type I'm writing. Okay, let me write an integer out to. So we're just writing some primitive data types to the file. <coughs> Next, what we'll do is we'll go and cl close this one out. D out dot uh, close. To read these primitive data types back, again, well, you have to create a file input stream and data input stream. So we we'll just go and create a file input stream. So it's a new object. So we'll create it as a new object here. File input stream, new file input stream. And then it is going to read this file OBJ. And then we are going to have this data input stream too. And then it's going to read this input stream. How will I read data now? I just uh, use uh, D in for my input stream here. That's my data input stream. Now I can read in this Boolean value. Say I'm going to read in a Boolean value. So Boolean F is equal to D in dot uh, read Boolean. So I have some functions for reading primitive data types, writing primitive data types. That is the key here. If I want to read that integer value, how will I read in that? Say int k is equal to d 
then dot read in so now i can go and do a sysout and then print f and k f plus uh, k hope this should work let's check it out so there's an exception somewhere end of file exception has occurred So let's write int. So let's write to. Let's go and do this one. Yeah, we are somehow successful with this uh, daily thing. So what we have done is say when you write in, when you write character, how it writes is it writes the character in the character format. Say it has written this boolean value true, and then it has written an integer. So while it reads boolean, it read boolean, it read an integer. Only thing we have to understand from data input output stream is you can write primitive data types, read primitive data types. You have float, double string, character, anything that you can write and anything that you can read.